Hey folks, welcome back to another video. Now we need to install Git in this system, in Jenkins system, because when it is going to run, it is going to make a call through Git only, and we have not installed it yet. So just type sudo yum install git. That's all you have to do. Hit enter. It can take up to a few minutes. Give y over here, and then it'll start downloading the. Okay. So it can take up to a few minutes. I'll just fast forward the video. Okay, so now it's installed. Let me clear the screen. I'll just type git hyphen version to check whether everything is all right or not. I'm sorry, it should be hyphen hyphen version. Perfect, 1.8.3.1. Okay, now you have to set up git. So in order to do that, you have to config it. So let me just clear it first. I'll type git config hyphen hyphen global user dot name okay and then username has to be you can yeah, write your name or anything else I'll just like logic ops lab I think that should be fine no response is a good response and then global config user email just have to change this okay this should be perfect logic ops lab at rate gmail dot com that's all i think perfect no response is a good response now i'll just write git config hyphen hyphen list so now it's showing username user dot name logic ops lab user dot email logic ops lab at rate gmail dot com all right so this thing is done now let's directly jump into the code. So three files are more most important over here. Jenkins file, pom.xml and settings.xml. Okay, so I'm going to explain one by one all the steps over here. I'm not going to explain this whole file as of now because it will be a huge problem for you to understand. So I'll go stage by stage. So what I have done is I have created a copy of it which is known as Jenkins file which is I'm going to use in this video. And this is the original file because that's what we want to achieve at one point of time. Right now we'll go with one stage and the uh, the video that we are going to talk uh, the thing that we are going to talk about is build job with Nexus repo. So that's the main thing. Okay, so let's get started. So first of all, let's dive di directly into Jenkins files. So pipeline agent any it's it's going to use any agent. We do not have set up any agent. So it is going to use the master one only maven 3 which you already know that we have already saved it over here JDK Oracle JDK 8 which you already know in the previous videos. Nexus user is the user that we set up as admin. The password is as admin over here. You can change the password if you want. Snap repo is the V profile snapshot that we have created. If you remember in the previous videos, release repo again, V profile repo, central repo is V profile central repo. Okay. And Nexus underscore GRP underscore repo V profile hyphen GRP hyphen repo. Nexus IP is 192.168.33.20. Now, if you're doing this setup on AWS servers or EC2 machines, feel free to use IP which is in the same network. That means the private IP. Do not go for public IP. This one. Okay. Nexus underscore port 8081. Nexus underscore login. Nexus login which you have already saved. So there was a problem with my Nexus login. So I changed it. I'll just show you what I did. If you go over here and go to manage Jenkins configuration, manage credentials. So here is my Nexus login now, and this is what I have changed. So previously was something else. I changed it. So that's what I've used. Okay. So let's directly go back. Nexus login. This is one. So the first stage is just the build stage. I'm going to build the stage, uh, right? Only the build stage, which is going to make a call to J um, Nexus over here. And in this SH command, because we are running shell, MVN is maven hyphen s settings dot XML, which is going to uh, read this file. I'm going to talk about it. D skip test is I'm going to skip the test as of now. Okay, so now let's go to settings dot XML. So in settings dot XML, we need snap underscore repo nexus user username password. Now you'll observe that previously we used to have hyphen hyphen everywhere like hyphen used to be here and here, here and there. But now what we have done is we have removed the hyphens. Now, why, why did we do that? Because what happens is Jenkins makes it as a illegal character character. So you have to use underscore everywhere. So you can see that underscore underscore everything is over here. All right. And this Nexus GRP repo is going to be collected from here. Okay. 
and this is pom.xml, this is settings.xml, and this is the original file, I'll just close this. Okay, underscore everywhere over here. Okay, so this, this is what it is going to use. Perfect, now let's go to pom.xml. Then pom.xml, uh, it's a huge file. Uh, we'll, we'll not talk about it as of now. And uh, you can change the name from here. You can write any name. So let's say my application, something like that you can write, okay. And then rest, I think keep it as it is. At the very bottom, you need to use this nexus underscore group repo, something like that, okay. And there is there was one change, right? Oh, so I, I didn't save it, let me save it. I'll just push the code, change the application name, okay, commit sync changes, so changes are done, okay, so we are in Jenkins right now and what you have to do is just click on new item and then just create a CI pipeline over here. So just type CI pipeline, let me expand it a bit. That's all. Go to a pipeline or you can select any project. I'll go to pipeline. Create an OK. Just write anything. This is a CI hyphen pipeline. Perfect. Uh, rest you can fill if you want accordingly. What, I want, what I'm going to do is pipeline script from SCM. SCM is your source code management which is git over here and it is going to ask a repository URL. So you have to go over here and go to code, copy this address. Let me just expand it a bit. Copy this address and paste it over here. So once it is done, you have to enter credentials or get whatever you have over here. Okay. So I think I already have it over here. This is done. After that, the repository name so we do not have master over here i have paac logic ops lab that's all let's come down script path is jenkins file that's which i've already told apply and save okay so till here everything is perfect let's just run it so once you run it here it is going to build one pipeline and then we are going to go inside okay so let's go inside so as you can see on the screen, it has started downloading from vmaven repo, repo. So it is going to take some time and depending on your internet speed, it can take up to two to three minutes or four to five minutes. And if you can see that the progress is happening over here. So it's making a call to the repository vprofile grp repo, which is a group repo. And then it's going to make a call one by one by one. Okay, so I'll just fast forward this video until it met the success. Now you can see it has started making a call to vprofile central repo. So previously it was happening for the some other one. Let me drag down it to the bottom. Progress, progress, progress. Okay, perfect. Okay, still going on for the central repo. Let it happen. We'll just wait. So it's been like four or five minutes from now, but let it wait because it's going to be a one time process. And after that, it's going to save all these dependencies in the Maven repo, sorry, in the Jenkins, and then it's going to use it from there. So this is only a one-time process and wait for the first time. The next time it goes perfectly all right, all right? In the first, what it is happening over here, obtain Jenkins file from this, which means that Jenkins was able to make a connection with Git. After that, running on Jenkins this and this, recommended tool is Git, which is perfect, and we have already installed Git in our system, perfect. There are a few stages as of now, settings.xml. We are going to skip the test as of now. It's building this vprofile web app and it is going to download a few dependencies. Now this process can take a lot of time because uh, for the first time it'll download a lot of Maven artifacts and it is going to take two to three minutes depending on your internet speed. Okay, I have fast forwarded this video. So as you can see, this is successful. Let's go back over here and we can see that it is green. So the first step was declarative checkout SCM, declarative tool install, and then our process was built. So all three process has gone through. All right, so if you want to build it again, it won't take much time because 
all the dependencies are already stored here in the first go it is going to take a lot of time in the second see you can see that the first and the second step went inside 786 787 milliseconds and 94 milliseconds and this is in 5 seconds but if you go for the first time this can take up to a lot of time i have already installed this so that's why it didn't take much more time for my view all right so folks i hope you have understood it how this pipe ci pipeline was able to make a call to nexus repository and then download the dependencies from there in the further videos we are going to publish the artifacts to ne nexus repo we are going to talk about the other things as well all right so if there is anything feel free to comment below and we will address that so thanks guys and i'll see you in the next one